Okay, well here is us exchange three Lotus at Silverstone, and uh, this is my second race so far on this circuit. Just trying to keep up with everyone. It's a little challenging. This car is uh, a little different than the one we previously lapped for the time attack trial. It's a little heavier, so that means that we need to brake a little earlier in different corners, like here for example. But we are doing well, I think, maintaining our composure. Oh, and those are definitely, in front of us I believe, are quicker cars. Uh, except the first one, he seems to be at stage 3 as well, so I don't know. Yeah, and here, the breaking point is kind of mid this. Otherwise you go way too far. So, oh, I went a little far myself. Part of me. Here, I just want to maintain my speed as much as I can without being projected off the side. Which uh, seems to be what's happening, so <laughs> we see. But since these guys are fighting, we've got a chance. I think we can't get the two first places because I think those cars truly are quicker. I don't know why that Lotus was in front of two others, but um, yeah, I think that those cars definitely are quicker than the Green Lotus. But we can surely catch up to the Green Lotus if we maintain good speed, which is anything but a guarantee, except that we'll surely try. So, yeah, it's looking good already. <laughs> um, this Lotus is a different one than the one I'm driving, which is supposed to be a stage 3. Um, I don't know the details. Is that an open top? Looks like it's open. I'm going to pick the inside line, and he sees me and moves away, which is always prudent. Yeah, it's an open top. I should not downshift there. So he's trying to block me, which is okay, but I guess I got a little bit impatient and uh, barged on him. So, sorry about that, it wasn't intentional. I'm sure that the uh, race marshals will understand. Right? <laughs> okay, so, keeping it up, keeping it up. We have. Hey, we're in third position, that's good. That's enough for a medal, and a medal is all we want. We can get a medal, that looks good on us. And uh, using the downshift to get a rotation, because I forgot to downshift, apparently. Third out of nine, I highly doubt that I can make it to reach those two guys in front. They seem to be long gone, but um, Trying something interesting, breaking diagonally into the apex here seems to have worked. So that's something to bear in mind. I just need to feather the brake, not brake too hard, maintain the right speed. I just try to maintain the speed so that I just, you know, kiss the white line and then get out of there as quickly as possible. So here, completely eating the paint, going as fast as we can without losing traction. And then here, we're gonna break it down to what? One gear. And I'm trying to keep my... See, I was just keeping my foot on the brake just enough, and I didn't, I didn't really brake hard enough because I was trail braking, but I just try to keep my foot on the brake just enough so that there's still pressure at the front of the car. Okay, so now I obviously didn't take the right line. It was okay. And there we go. So, I guess it's third position not to lose kind of thing or it doesn't really matter how well I do in third position it just matters that I don't lose the third position so just steady slow and steady wins the race hasn't the uh, turtle said that to the hair in this case I would say fast and steady wins the race Lotus is a, a nice brand, I like him. The wing is rather odd. It's rather small, I'm just noticing that. It seems like a, a wing that would be distributed on a stock car, but not on a stage 3 car, I don't know. Um, anyway, Lotus is known for their recipe of having very small, very small, I've 
I've been inside a couple, and I can confirm I've sat inside one, basically sitting on the floor. Um, and there's no carpet, because it's meant to be as light as possible. So, I mean, depending on the model, of course. And they actually take a Toyota engine. They have a, uh, it's a Lexus or a Toyota. It's a Toyota Camry six-cylinder. That's what it is. And, uh, yeah, Lotus is a British manufacturer. Makes, I mean, obviously, if you're listening to this, you probably know. But, uh, just in case you were aware and you were under a rock, that's what Lotus is. So, I can understand their, their position here in the series because they're a light car. They're not necessarily made to go to be the fastest cars, you know? But their, their uh, power to rate, power to weight ratio is acceptable. So, I slowed down a little bit early here. I don't know why. Because I was concentrating on what I had to say. But, you know, at this point, I can see that the guys in front of me have definitely have the faster car. So I don't really need to be forcing like mad to try to get to them. I just want to keep my position. And I don't see that being threatened at the moment. So we're just going to get a nice rotation. The thing is, the motor in this car is placed at the back. So you get this beautiful mid-engine rotation where all the weight is centered around the rear wheels. And you get this nice 50-50 weight distribution that everybody wants. Or something near to it. Which allows you to accelerate out of the corner and just drip that, get that last, you know, drop of performance out of the car as you're trying to turn while rotating. As long as you don't oversteer, but you know what? We keep traction control on for a reason. We don't want to loop to loop for that. So, there we go. Third position. I'm happy with that. That's a good pace. We didn't go in the grass or anything, so that's a blessing.